other activities on the range were counter ambush drills and ammo tanks simultaneous firing, which concluded the mechanized operation phase in Bochi. For the final phase of exercise compiling, the cadets were moved to Kachia, Kaduna State, where they carried out a purely dismounted infantry operation. This encompassed conventional warfare such as offensive, defensive and transitional operations, as well as counter-asymmetric operations where they occupied a forward operating base in a counter-insurgency setting. The cadets also carried out a tactical advance operation through jungle setting, covering a distance of 45 kilometers, clearing series of objectives including sniper positions, section attack, platoon and controlled advisory company positions. These operations also featured close air support by the Nigerian Air Force. From the forward operating base, the cadets carried out series of small teams operations covering fighting patrols, raids and ambushes. The tactical phase was concluded with a deliberate dawn attack on the adversary's strong position. The final activity and high point of Kampailan 2022 was the battle inoculation at the Tibor Hill in Kachia. Battle inoculation simulates realistic actions on the combat front lines. In the process, the cadets learned how to react and cope with stress and endure the rigors of combat. The simulated conditions involved the use of live fire from artillery gun, armored tanks and air force platforms. This was aimed to thoroughly prepare the cadets for combat deployment some of the weapons fired during the battle inoculation include the 40mm rocket launcher, 105 pack Hawiza, 155 Hawiza, ST-1 tank, Sagi tank, Scorpion tank, anti-aircraft gun, amongst others. The commandant of the Nigerian Defense Academy, Major General Ibrahim Mani Yusuf, appreciated the defense headquarters, Nigerian Army, Navy and Air Force for their support towards actualizing the revised military training curriculum of which the cadets of 69 regular course were the first beneficiaries.